What's going on everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. We gotta go over Baby Doge because yes, we're still going down to the support line. We're just gonna talk about what's been forming up in the technicals and we're also gonna go over Bitcoin. So definitely hit that like button and subscribe. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. Leave a comment in the comment section. And also, if you all wanna check out my Instagram, check it out at link in the description. I'm gonna be posting more stuff on there as well, but let's get straight to it. So. First of all, yes, we just now broke out of this pattern here, and now it's kind of confirmed that we're probably going to be going down to the one zero area. Right now, we're at one 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 six, and we will be at one zero 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 zero, and then eventually we should end up breaking that support and then going down and adding another zero. Now, I know a lot of people don't want to see that, but it's going to happen. Nine z nine, nine c seven. It's probably going to come soon. But one thing you also have to remember, Baby Doe Swap comes in two weeks. Well, not two weeks now, but it is going to be coming on the 5th of October. So when that actually happens, we're probably going to end up seeing a price rise from there. So yes, even if we do go down to the one zero area, when it's on the 5th of October or right before then, people are probably going to start pumping it up and doing some FOMO, fear, missing out stuff and just throwing their money in because Baby Doe Swap is coming up. So you probably will see a temporary increase in price and that temporary increase in price could probably end up bringing us back up to 1250 and possibly even back up to the area above 1250, which is approximately, you know, like 1350, somewhere around there. So 1250, so 1350, we can probably see levels around there. If we have the uh, baby doe swap and it's successful to where people are just FOMOing in and just seeing that, you know, we just not came out with a swap. So that's, that's usually what happens whenever a project comes out with a big, big thing like that. Baby doe swap is actually pretty big for us. So I think we're going to actually end up increasing from there. And then we have the announcement of the game. So, you know, we could still become bullish. But right now we're still going to be pulling back. But, you know, while we're pulling back, though. You know, we, we just have to wait. And also, someone mentioned that this is a chess game or a checkers game. I definitely think so. And I think more so checkers because you can see here that they got the little baby Dogecoin here. Kind of looks like a checkers piece. Same thing here. And then black and white. Kind of looks like a checkers game, but it could be chess. But yeah, it could be a game like that. So we'll just have to see exactly what it's going to be. But anyways, that's pretty much all I got for that. And also, I want to go ahead and show you all the four-hour chart here for baby Doge. So for our chart it's pretty much still the same thing we have a little red bar forming up here showing we have less demand it's going to be a little bit harder for us so we did get rejected there we had a less demand area but yeah we're still projected to go back down to the one zero area and the only way we're going up from there is leading up to the baby doe swap if people start to push it and pump it then it will definitely start the rise from there now as for bitcoin so bitcoin as you can see here we are on this little support line here but it kind of looks like we're probably going to break it. And it looks like it's kind of struggling to stay there. And look right here on the oscillator. We had that little bit of a bullish movement. But notice how that bullish movement is now starting to go down. So you can start to actually see here the wave here on the oscillator is going down to the downside. So we're about to see some more selling. And the 24-hour market control is in control by the bears by 100%. So yeah, it shows that we're all 100% bears for Bitcoin in the 15-minute chart. So yeah, I my predictions for Bitcoin are still the same. I still predict the short term for Bitcoin is going to be the lower 18Ks at about 18.2K. And I still predict the long term for Bitcoin is probably going to be around 14K. But before that happens, you know, we're probably going to end up hitting around uh, 16K first. But yeah, and staying there for a little bit. But yeah, like I said, 14K to 11K. And the reason why I believe this is because this little support line here, you can actually see we have high activity here. But notice how it's all selling activity. And I also showed here on the oscillator previously on the other video how we were, you know, have building up a bullish movement. But see, since this is the one week chart, whenever you see a bullish movement building up, don't think of it as an immediate thing because this is the long term chart. So long term, our bullish momentum is building. But right now, short term, we're probably going to end up seeing that bearish movement and a high activity of selling bringing us down to about 14K and 11K. 14K being the high side of the area and 11K being the lower side. But you also notice this whole green area supply and demand for more demand. So eventually we're going to start seeing more money flowing back into Bitcoin when we do that pullback. And then we'll have more momentum to go up to the upside. But yeah, hey, this is pretty much all I got for you all today. Moral of the story, Baby Doge temporarily 
going down to 1.0, possibly 9.99 before pumping because of the swap coming out on October 5th. And then Bitcoin for the short term going back down to about 18.2K and eventually down to 14K and 11K in the, in the near term. And then long term, we should definitely have a pump for Bitcoin after we get around 14 to 11K. I don't think Bitcoin is going to go below 10k i think people are going to see that as a steal and really get in on it heavy and institutional investors on 100 percent institutional investors so in these little areas here where it says high activity expected low activity moderate activity that's typically institutional interest so that's where they're probably more likely to get in and right now you're seeing high activity here this is probably because it's high selling activity that's why you see all the selling there going on now but it's going to switch to high buying activity once we have this pullback back down to 11 to 4k so that's what we're expecting here for bitcoin now also you want to check out uh baby doge we're also doing some burns but our burns are very small right now the volume is so small right now it's so tiny we only burned 5.07k inside of baby doge in the last 24 hours which only amounts to be 4.49 trillion baby doge is very low for our burns but eventually it will it will start to build up as the baby doge swap comes out so i'm really not that worried about it but hey, this is all I got for you all today. Hit the like button and subscribe if you like the video. Leave a comment in the comment section. Also, remember, I'm not a financial advisor. Now this is financial advice. I'm about to start posting more on my Instagram. So check out the link in the description. I'll start posting a lot of stuff on there. So definitely go ahead and check that out. And as always, I'll be back with another video.